Well, the Great Voltager is next. This is a one and a half mile event for three old Colts and Geldings. It's a St. Ledger trial despite being two furlongs shorter than the Ledger trip. Uh, at the top we've got Night King for Dan Hughes. Of the Night Currency, David Robertson. Trapango Commodity, Darren Thompson. Home of the Brave, Paul Rhodes. Lu Feng Privacy Vinnie Gerard Morville for Daniel French. And Victory Bond for Martin Leader. A field of seven. Ready they go. And away they go. And he's going to be the first one to strike for the lead. It looks like it might be Lufeng Privacy in the green. Flat by the two greys. Victory Bond and Night King. Went right over on the far rail. The yellow jacket of Home of the Brave. Looks like he might be going through as well. But now it's got to be Night King who goes on. So Night King then the first of the greys has got the lead. Got across to the fence as well. Leads by two lengths from Trapango Commodity who's been driven through into a share a second with Home of the Brave on its inside, Victory Bond on its outside and wider still of the night currency then a gap of two lengths at a back pair, Morville and Lufeng Privacy but they're through the first couple of furlongs and Night King has settled down into the lead from Home of the Brave and Trapango Commodity then of the night currency on the outside, Victory Bond the second grey is next, and a gap then of three lengths to the back pair, Morville and Lu Feng Privacy. They're well inside the final mile now. Night King has got an undisputed lead at this point of about two and a half lengths. In a line of three of them, home of the brave Trapango commodity and of the night currency. Then Victory Bond is after that one. With Morville coming up that one's inside. And Lu Feng Privacy just Two or three lengths off the pack. All oh, those Vinnie Gerald horses caught a rattle at the end though, so maybe holding it up for a run. But it's Night King who's got the lead with five to go. Leading by about two. To the yellow jacketed home of the Brave on the inside. Second. Trapango Commodities third. Victory Bond widest on the trap. Morville's just run himself into a bit of a cul de sac. And the one who's now coming through with a run is Lu Feng Privacy. But it's Night King who's got the lead. Lu Feng Privacy is now starting to get into overdrive into second. And he's going to be soon coming up to challenge for the lead. I think Lu Feng Privacy in the green has absolutely swept through to take it up with three furlongs to go from last to first. It's Lu Feng Privacy who's got a length clear of Night King who's in second. The rest of them in a line back in a share of third. But Lu Feng Privacy has now gone two lengths clear with two furlongs to go. Lu Feng Privacy has he gone too soon on it? That's the question. Lu Feng Privacy in the lead. Night King trying to battle back in second. Then more villain of the night currency. Home of the Brave is after that one. Then Trapango Commodity and finally Victory Bond. But inside the final furlong it's Lu Feng Privacy who's clear and doesn't look like he's going to stop. And up towards the line this is going to be another one in the bag for Vinnie Gerard. Lu Feng Privacy takes the great voltage from Morville second of the night currency third. Then Trapango Commodity not Night King, home of the brave and victory bond at the back. And Vinnie Gerard takes another one. I'm giving the title now, really. Lu Feng Privacy, the winner. Morville second for Daniel French. Of the night currency, David Rawson was third. Trapango Commodity for Darren Thompson was fourth. And the long time leader, Night King for Dan Hughes was fifth.